Now at 10, family, friends, and even strangers came together at Brookhaven High School to remember Zaria Newton, the woman killed during a burglary at her home. WJTV 12's Alex Love was there and joins us here in the studio with the community's message. Alex? Well, Jade, for practically the whole Brookhaven community, it was a stressful and scary week, especially for the Newton family. But in tonight's balloon send-off, many are finding peace. As the balloons flew high, so did emotions from the Newton family, but friends in the community never left their side. We stay strong as a family here in Brookhaven, and we'll continue to uh, make our way through this, and we'll continue to support uh, the Newton family. The tragedy struck last weekend when Zaria and her boyfriend came home late one night, finding four men in their home. Police say Zaria was then shot as they took off. I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't wrap my mind around it, and I still can't believe it. But it's just something that's going to be hard for me to accept. The ceremony began with a prayer done by Wilson calling for everyone to thank God for the time they had with Zaria. Then with love, the balloons were sent up. I just was thinking about Zaria and how she must be in heaven smiling down on this moment. We pray that uh, Zaria is resting in the arms of our Savior. And we just want uh, people to know that you know Zaria was a great person and uh, this family is a great family. Just one month away from her 21st birthday, classmates, family, and former teachers remember Zaria as a loving, cheerful student who loved cheerleading and worked hard. She loved cheering at the football games, at the AJ's football games. She loved cheer. Zaria was a great student. Zaria was a great person. And most of all, she always had a smile on her face, and she was always a positive individual in our school system. Following the send-off, the Newton family thanked everyone in Zaria's class for coming and encouraged them to keep their heads up for her and welcoming them to their home anytime to check in. Now, as for suspects Justin Anderson, Jotavius Berry, and Adrian Smith, they are in custody. Another suspect, Sean Allen, was killed in a shootout with law enforcement officers.